Hey guys, what's going on? Coming to you with another video real quick. So today, uh, I want to talk about Google. Before I get started, make sure you like and subscribe, comment below, hit that uh, subscribe button in the corner right there, much appreciated. Uh, trying to just get my subscribers up, I'm a newer channel. Uh, this is a stock I have not talked about, so let me get into it here. So Google, ticker is GGOG or uh, GGOGL. So those are the two tickers for Google. What, you know, earnings came out uh, not too long ago, maybe a three, four weeks ago at this point. So they put up some massive numbers and this is their second quarter of straight profit. That's awesome. You, you know, I don't think this company is going anywhere in the near future. They just own so many big things that have such big presence. But that's, that's really impressive. They turned such a big profit, you know, in two straight quarters. So that's really cool if you're a shareholder of the stock. So to break that down a little more, I said uh, booming business, that's what they're doing. They had uh, a 17% growth from last quarter, which is insane. YouTube had a 46% increase. And I think a lot of reasons that people are sleeping on Google or not understanding about it, YouTube is getting bigger. It's, it's, it's a platform now that people, you know, some people are doing it or a, a lot more people compared to 2019 or 2020, like people were making this their primary jobs. Uh, this is how they're, 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 they're living. And you know, that uh, I, you know, this, 46% increase just makes so much sense to me because people are working remote or they lost their jobs or they're putting more effort into their channel. So it actually makes really, I mean, it makes a lot of sense if you think about it. If you really break it down to why Google is striving so much, people are using, you know, searching more, maybe just because they have more spare time, not going out. So there's a lot of reasons why, you know, Google's up 70%, YouTube's up 46%, obviously Google Cloud, I think a lot of this has to do with people doing startup businesses, uh, working remote, you know, kind of storing all their storage somewhere where it's it's safe and basically unlimited. It is unlimited, so that's kind of where you know I think Google's really killing. I mean, this kind of environment with what's going on is making Google really strive. So it's really sweet. Uh, it, it's it it it's a stock I was looking at in 2019. I didn't pull the trigger in 2019. However, I did pull it in 2020. Uh, if you guys remember back, right after I believe it was Labor Day, right after Labor Day, the market the market ran in June, July, August, and then right when it hit Labor Day, I think when the market opened after Labor Day, it had like a three or three and a half week correction, just down, 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 down. Right when it did that, I actually uh, started a position at a. $1,446, so that's my cost base right now. I bought a couple shares there, and right now we're up 44.88%. So I think it's hovering, I didn't write it, I think it's a little over $2,000 right now. I wanna say 2,000 to like 2,100. So that's where it's floating around right now. So it's, obviously that's 44% roughly. What do I think is gonna happen in 2021 with this company? I think it's gonna be a bullish year, for sure. Like, I just think they're gonna keep executing, they're gonna keep, you know, Google, YouTube, the cloud, and all other things they own. I think they're, you know, those businesses are just gonna go up and up and up this year. I, I, I really don't, I couldn't see anything turn, you know, stopping them. What do I think is gonna happen at the MK year per, end of 2020 per share? I really could see the stock being 3K. I think that's a very realistic number based on how they're growing, what they're doing, uh, them destroying quarter, uh, quarterly earnings and you know EPS and stuff like that. I could really see them being 3K a share. So with it being 2000 or 2100 right now, is that a bad buy? I mean, I would make, I wasn't gonna do this, but I'll do it anyways, like where I love it, I love this stock anything under like 15K, like that's, that's, Awesome. I don't think it will go that low at this point again. Uh, the buy, like a good buy, I would say is anywhere between 1.8 and 2.2. I feel like that's a real, like the, now I'm talking like long-term investing here. So, so if you haven't watched my previous videos, just make sure you understand that I'm a long-term investor. I'm not a day trader. I'm not a swing trader. I really like investing in great companies that I feel like in the next three to 10 years are going to have really strong 
you know, they're going to be up significantly. So these are my evaluations for Google and, you know, in the next, you know, two to three years, but I'm going to hold away longer than that, obviously. But if you're willing to do that, 1.8 to 2.2 K, that's, that's a great, um, it's still a great buy. I would hold, I mean, if it goes over like 2.5 K, that's probably where I'd hold, especially if you're, you know, you're not sure about it or, or you want to do a quick, you know, I would stop there because, you know, if I think it's going to go here and, it, and, you know, that's, that's such a small return. There's so many better companies out there right now that will give you a better return on investment. So that's kind of where I'd hold if I were looking at Google. I try diversifying my portfolio too, to only staying in like two, maybe three of the, um, you know, the big tech stocks. So I am a shareholder of Facebook also. So, and, and Apple. So I don't know if you can say that. Yeah. And that's tech, but so, you know, the, the, those are my big three that I have a position on. So am I going to sell mine? No. I mean, I don't care if it goes to 3k, 4k, 5k this year or next year, I'm not selling it. I mean, I believe in this business model. I think it will continue to grow. Um, you know, there's multiple reasons why you want to buy a company like this and just let it ride. It's, it's, it's a safe play. You're going to see nice growth out of it. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got on Google. I like it. Even at this evaluation right now, the more and more I think about it, I like. I wouldn't mind averaging up if everything gets a little saturated in the market. There aren't many good deals out there right now. I do love Tattoo Chef right now, and I do love Dropbox with their valuation. So I've been continuing. I'm going to probably add to my position in the next like week or two, depending on what the market does. So like in my other videos, I did say, you know, if I buy a position or buy a stock, I will notify you guys and let you know why and when I bought it at what price, just in case you guys are wondering. So that's all I got. Peace.